Hey guys, Prime here, and welcome to the introduction for my Skyrim LP. Uh, in this introduction, I'm pretty much going to be going over the character and the mods I'm using. Um, but this is going to be a complete roleplay walkthrough. Uh, therefore, if there's some kind of um, advantage that I can achieve, uh, but it doesn't mesh with my character's beliefs or something that he would do, I'm not actually going to go ahead and do that. You know, like if there's some quest that'll give me like a really awesome sword, but it's not a quest my character would take, I'm just not going to do it. Uh, so in essence, I guess I'm kind of gimping myself a little bit, but I think it makes it much more interesting. Uh, and I'm also going to be using a lot of mods, which I will go over in a minute, and I'll also link them all in the description below, so make sure to check that out if you're interested. Okay. So uh, it took me forever to come up with the character, um, and I actually drew some inspiration from a another video game character, one of my favorite characters, uh, and kind of modeled the character after him. So normally in these kinds of games, if I'm role playing, I typically play the good guy. Uh, I like to help others and that kind of thing. I mean, it's. It's pretty much me. I like to project myself into my character, uh, which some would, I guess, they call some would call it a cop out because how am I role playing if I'm just doing you know stuff like that? So, in the name of great LPing, I have decided to not role play the good guy. Instead, I am going to be role playing Kane, and Kane, well. Let's look at him real quick. Kane is a vampire. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, oh, vampire, how original. But he is going to be modeled after Kane from the Legacy of Kane series. Uh, and if you guys don't know what that is, I will also put a link in the description to the Wikipedia entry and maybe some YouTube videos. I'll decide later. Uh, but he is, personality wise, he is narcissistic, arrogant, basically goes hand in hand with narcissism, uh, very selfish. Uh, he believes that the weak have no rights whatsoever and that, you know, vampires should rule all of Tamriel, essentially. Uh, and he is very old. He is... There are four eras in the Skyrim timeline, or the Elder Scrolls timeline, I should say. And he is, he actually predates that. He's in, uh, I believe it's called the Mythic Era. It's pretty much back when all the races were forming for the first time. Mostly a lot of elves and proto Nords and that kind of thing. So he has predated, you know, Tiber Septum. He predates the Empire. He's seen a lot of stuff and he comes from a time that is much more cruel and unforgiving. So he's more of a shoot first, ask questions later kind of guy. And uh, that's what we're dealing with with Cain here. Now the story is that in the second era, I kind of tried to blend it into the lore a little bit, uh, the Dawn Guard formed in the second era. And they, at this point in time, Cain had a vampire clan, the largest vampire clan in all of Tamriel. And uh, he was pretty much on the verge of destroying humanity and all other humanoid creatures besides vampires. That's really all he's interested in preserving. Uh, but the Dawn Guard managed to kill every single one of his disciples, all of his uh, clan, and ended up wounding him almost fatally. So he had to retreat and actually uh, go into slumber in order to recover. Uh, but it has taken him two eras to fully recover. Uh, because he was pretty much drained to the point of not existing anymore. But he has awoken, and uh, he is ready to get his revenge on the Dawn Guard. And you're probably asking yourself, am I going to do the main quest? And I will do the main quest simply because Cain, while being somewhat evil, uh, does not see a point in uh, the entire world being destroyed, because... How is he going to rule anything if it's all gone? And that's pretty much what Cain wants. He wants to rule. He is 
He was uh, nobility in his time when he was turned, and that has always been his place in all of the world. He's always been the ruler, so Cain will go out of his way to uh, save the world if it benefits him. He will also go out of his way and do things that uh, he normally wouldn't do if it will give him an upper hand. Like if he can get a favor from someone, uh, he will go and do that as well. Uh, now on to how I'm going to be playing this character. Uh, initially I'm going to be playing him very sneaky uh, because he has just woken up after two eras of slumber. He is ridiculously weak right now. I, he, he's pretty much lost everything that he had gained before and he has to gain back his power slowly. So I'm going to have to be really careful at first. Um, very, very careful. And I'll tell you in a second because I'm going to go over the mods that I'm going to be using in this playthrough. Um, and the mod in question is Better Vampires. And what Better Vampires does is it allows you to control every facet of the Elder Scrolls Skyrim vampire system. So I, in, in the initial Skyrim, I really didn't like vampires. Um, and you could be a vampire and walk out during the daylight and there was no consequences whatsoever. And uh, you were stronger if you had not fed, which to me just seems the opposite of what it should be. I mean, I would think a vampire would be stronger if they were fully engorged on blood, right? I'm pretty sure you guys can agree. So it allows me to change all of that, and it's, it's really neat. Um, I've also got it to where healing potions will not work on Kane. Uh, in order to heal, he actually needs to bottle blood or drink from corpses and that kind of thing, uh, which makes absolute sense to me because uh, I don't think a health potion would help an undead creature. Uh, you know, he's pretty much on online with a demon, essentially. So I don't think that would help. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the first mod that I'm going to be using. That's it's the biggest one really that I'm going to be using. Um, the other one. I would say it's just as good as uh, Skyrim Redone and that it completely revamps the level system, everything. So I'm going to be leveling up a lot faster and the enemies are going to be a lot harder. So once again, I need to be really careful. <laughs> um, I can't remember what the other ones are right now. Oh no. Oh yes, uh, another one is called Uncapper and it allows me to actually get over 100 points in any skill. Uh, because in the initial Skyrim, you could only get 100 points in a skill and then you capped out. Uh, but with Skyrim Redone, it's pretty much like a, you need it. Because if you don't have it, you're going to die. Because you're going to cap out, and your enemies are just going to keep getting stronger. You kind of need it. So, there is that. And, uh, I think that's pretty much all the major mods. I think I'm forgetting something, but I will definitely link it in the description below. So I hope you guys are excited to join me on this journey. Uh, I am going to be playing very evil, so uh, hopefully, you know, you're not faint of heart. Otherwise, you may not be able to stomach some of the things that Cain might be okay doing, such as slaughtering children, destroying property, and well, doing other things that probably shouldn't be done. We can only imagine what he did to this woman here. Hmm. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the first part of the LP. Until then, prime out.